Okay, so we got our pool deck, or we actually got our pool all painted now, and we're working on our pool deck, and we're gonna be staining it with a solid color stain. We're using a stain called H&C Stain, and it can be tinted to any color you want. We're gonna be putting in Shark Grip, which is an additive to uh, keep it from uh, an anti-slip resistant additive to keep you from slipping. The pool deck is a concrete deck and it's rough as it is, but this is gonna add a little more resistant to slipping so we don't get anybody injured um, on this pool deck. So we're gonna show you the process of staining this pool deck with uh, brushes and rollers, nine inch rollers and four inch rollers. So here we go, stay tuned to the process. Now we're just going to lightly wire brush this concrete wherever we got a few little peeling spots so we're just going to lightly wire brush it just to make sure that there's no loose peeling stain from the previous coatings. Okay, we just need a few tools to complete this task now. We're going to be using a bucket, four inch nap, and a brush. A latex exterior brush, got a nine inch pan to roll the big fields with a nine inch roller. We're gonna be using a short nap because you got that anti-slip additive in there and you don't want it to all get lost inside the nap. So use a short nap. So you wanna be using a short nap, uh, either a quarter inch or three eighths inch nap. So I'm gonna be opening up my solid color stain here. We're gonna dump in some of our anti uh, slip resistant additive and all you do is you just dump it right into your stain here and then you shake it up really good and that's all it is to it uh, to adding this stuff to your stain so you're just going to dump in the proper amount it, on the instructions on the back it tells you how much to put in there you just shake it up really good and then you're good to go we're going to start in we're going to do our cut-ins all around the pool first, then we're gonna fill it in with our nine inch nap, or nine inch roller. <laughs> so we do have some cracks in this concrete here, and I'm gonna be caulking them with a latex caulking called Big Stretch, and it's a latex caulking and it, it dries really fast so we can go back over and coat it really quickly. So I'm just gonna be caulking all these cracks so the deck looks a lot nicer. Caulking these cracks keeps, um, there's a lot of ants out here, keeps the ants out of the cracks from living in the cracks or coming out of the cracks, keeps weeds from growing in them too. Okay, got my Cracks all caulked. We're going around working on our cut ins, doing the outside and inside cut ins and cutting in around the pool slide and everything. And then we're going to fill it in with our nine inch roller. So now we almost got our cut-ins all done. I'm gonna start rolling the, the field of it with my nine inch roller and I've got a, a short nap here. Just uh, This is a 3 8 inch nap that we'll be rolling it with and I'm gonna be filling it in right now and working right along. So you'll see that process here. This should go pretty fast. I'm gonna be using an extension pole. It's just gonna be a lot easier for me they don't have to bend over to actually roll it, just can actually just stand up and easy to get to my pan, easy to get to my surface without bending over and working my back too much. Having an extension pole and some of these tools makes it really convenient to do, especially an extension pole. All the tools that you see me using, you can typically find them on my Amazon store, so go check out my Amazon store at theidahopainter.com and to purchase my tools.
So when you're applying the stain, the stain is really thin. You just want to apply a really thin coat. You're not trying to apply a thick coat, just a thin coat. It covers really well. And the whole idea is just to get a nice thin coat on for coverage. You don't want to eliminate the profile of the concrete and make the concrete slick. You want to keep that concrete rough so you don't want to put on the product too thick.